Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with remote servers. Our viewer is curious about setting up remote SSH and SFTP connections in NetBeans, specifically when dealing with multiple server hops. They ask, is it possible to access the file system on a second server hop directly from NetBeans? Let's break this down and explore the options available. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To access a remote file system on a second server, hop using NetBeans, we first need to understand the SSH tunneling concept. You can set up an SSH tunnel from your local machine to the second server. This can be done using the SSH command with the NASH L option. Once the tunnel is established, you can configure NetBeans to connect to the second server using the local port you specified. Finally, Test the connection to ensure that you can access the file system on the second server through NetBeans. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set up remote SSH and SFTP with NetBeans, you can use SSH local port forwarding. First, establish an SSH connection to your first remote server, which will tunnel to the second server. It's recommended to use SH public key authentication for convenience. Run the following command on your local machine to keep the connection active. This command forwards port 22222 on your local machine to port 22 on the second server through the first server. To test the connection, use this command to connect locally. This ensures that your setup is working correctly. Finally, in NetBeans, simply connect to localhost on port 2222 to access your second server. For more detailed information, you can refer to the SSH tunneling example linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set up remote SSH or SFTP with NetBeans, you can create an SSH tunnel. This involves configuring a service to start automatically, which will connect to your first server and bind a local port, like 2222, to the SSH port of your second remote server. Once the tunnel is established, you can configure NetBeans to connect to localhost on port 2222, allowing you to log directly into the second server. For detailed instructions, you can refer to an article linked in the description. It provides a step-by-step -step guide on starting an SSH tunnel on Windows. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To 
to use remote SSH or SFTP with NetBeans, consider using SSHFS. This allows you to mount remote directories over SSH, making it easier to access files directly from your NetBeans application. SSHFS is available in Debian and likely other distributions. Ensure you have your SSH keys set up correctly on each server for a smooth connection. Be cautious when using SSHFS. It expects to be the only method updating the file system. Allowing other processes to modify files can lead to data loss or corruption. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.